Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Leo Stoller. I'm the director of the Americans for the Enforcement of Intellectual Property Rights. Speaking to you this evening from our headquarters here in Chicago, Illinois. Tonight, we would like to talk about the right of publicity. Now, what does that mean? And who are we? Well, Americans for the Enforcement of Intellectual Property Rights is an association which advocates the strict enforcement of American intellectual property rights. We're being victimized all over the country and all over the world. Our trademark holders, our patent holders, our copyright holders are being infringed on all over the world. My name is Leo Stoller and I'm the director. I'm also an expert witness. Law firms retain my services to help judges understand trademark issues as to damages when a party might be sued. They need an expert witness to help a jury or the fact finder understand the issues. Tonight we're talking about the right of publicity. What is this right and who does it apply to and why should you be interested in the right to publicity? All of us, especially those members of the community, the movie stars, celebrities who make their living on the fame of their name or likeness are entitled to protect that likeness under the right of publicity. All these, all our states have laws which protect individuals who have recognizable features, voices, faces, movie stars, so that another party cannot usurp their appearance, their likeness, their um, photographs, put it on a product, sell those products bearing the photograph, which people would recognize that photograph on a product and therefore more be more inclined to want to buy that product. There's a real well-known case about Marilyn Monroe, for example, when she passed away the photographer who had been taking her pictures sold those pictures and her estate sued the photographer because the pictures were being used in a commercial fashion representing Marilyn Monroe. You've all, we've all seen the picture of Marilyn Monroe on that subway with the wind blowing up her dress or skirt for example and Marilyn Monroe acting shocked and amazed picture made that photographer a lot of money. A lot of companies used that. Anyhow, after her passing, he continued to sell it. The estate sued him and ultimately sued in the state of New York under the right of publicity, alleging that the estate now had the right to protect the image, the photographic image of Marilyn Monroe. However, because she died, the state ruled that um, the estate of Marilyn Monroe no longer had a right to protect her image after her death. Not all states rule that way. But what's important, especially for celebrities and movie stars alike, is to recognize that your likeness is a registration. An individual who might be well known they are a walking trademark. And what is a trademark? A trademark is a source identifier. For example, all of us who go into any grocery store, you can see Paul Newman, uh, his face on labels of spaghetti, lemonade, salad dressing. His likeness is a source identifier. He has a very popular food company, Mr. Newman, the movie star Mr. Newman, Paul Newman, and um, the use of his photograph and his likeness has 
helped his company grow immensely because we can all recognize who Paul Newman is and there's a lot of goodwill associated with him and his face. So the important subject, an important thing to know is that your likeness is protectable and that you should protect it and that you should not allow anyone to usurp your face or your image. And if they do, give me a call because I can help you win your case. Leo Stoller, my blog is rentamark.blog.com rentamark.blog.com or merely type the name Leo Stoller into Google and uh, you can come to my blog, give me a call and I can help you. Win your case every time.